Hey everybody, so the question is what is actually stopping us from buying an electric vehicle? Your first answer could be cost, but think again. Uh, there are people who buy IC engine vehicles for as low as $4,000 and there are also a handful of people who go for cars costing over $40,000 or even more than that. So if money was the only issue, then we should be having a trend where all the expensive car buyers go for the electric, but that's not the case, right? So is it the range anxiety that people are talking about? This might sound to be a really satisfying answer, but think again, a decade ago you had mobile phones with batteries that lasted for over a week and we used them for just calling and messaging. Uh, but now we depend on our smartphones for everything. I mean, literally everything from calling, texting, to shopping and even banking online. It's all from our smartphones. And ironically, the batteries that we are provided with our smartphones today can withstand no longer than a day of usage. So how do we accept this change? It's because we plan our daily tasks, we plan our journeys, we know that we will have a charging socket somewhere or the other, in trains, in cars, in our office, or even in the cafe. Our smartphone's ability to store more than enough charge in their battery pack is no more a concern and the cost of our smartphones is not something that depends on that factor. So why did this happen? It's because we now have smartphones that can charge more than 10 times faster than what we had 10 years ago. And this is what made us to forget about our need for bigger batteries. Because 10 minutes of charge is all you need nowadays to stay connected for more than half a day. Isn't that a good deal? So it's this combination of technological advancement and the availability of infrastructure that actually answers our question. It's not the money and it's not the size of the battery pack either. So if we can charge our electric vehicle in the same five minute time span as it takes to fill up the tank of your conventional petrol or diesel car, we can give a huge thumbs up for electrification of all our vehicles, right? Guess what? It's already here. There is a company called StoreDot and they have invented a battery that can be charged to pretty much full capacity in 5 minutes. Look, this isn't some lab experiment, okay? They have these batteries already in production for smaller applications like drones, phones and scooters and they are building them at production scale from a Chinese company called Eve Energy. So how does it actually work? In a battery, charged electrons go from the negative anode to the positive cathode through a load, which may be a bulb or the high performance motor of your Tesla. These batteries that are used in our electric vehicles and other applications consists of different kinds of materials including carbon which is commonly used for the negative electrode. Again which if you throw too much current through gets too hot and causes problems. This ultimately limits how quickly you can charge your batteries. StoreDot uses charged nanoparticles in its electrodes in a rather doish sounding material called germanium. And this pretty much solves all the problem. Yeah, it's obviously expensive, but what StoreDot and others are working on is to use the silicon for electrodes, which gives the same effect as using the germanium and is also comparatively less expensive. So there you go, we have the tech and problem solved. Is it so? No. We have only solved one of the two challenges I mentioned earlier. We may have the technology in hand, but the infrastructure part is still under construction and it's not something that can be achieved in a really short period of time. We still don't have enough number of fast charging station that can squeeze in that much amount of charge in a really small time span. Cars like Porsche Taycan, Audi e-tron with 800 volt architecture and even the Hyundai Ioniq 5 are actually capable of accepting this level of quick charging which shows that the technology is spreading well from the expensive models to the mass produced ones. So yes, we can be happy and the bottom line is that 5 minute charge of electric vehicles from zero to full is technically possible and it's not very far away from the future. Hope that was informational enough and I actually wanted to talk a bit more but you guys don't like lengthy videos so I'm stopping it here if you like this video give it a like if you loved it subscribe to the channel and stay tuned see you in the next one